Hello, my name is Gabby and welcome to this introductory video to help you to get the most out of your Alexa. This video is about managing long-term health conditions, specifically diabetes, with the help of your Alexa. The Alexa has many skills available to help you to manage diabetes. These include skills such as My Diabetes that can answer questions about diabetes and how to live with the condition. Blood sugar, where you can log any of your blood sugar readings and ask your Alexa at any time for any previous readings so that you can track your blood sugar levels much easier. Glue control is a skill that can tell you the glycemic index of many foods and can help you to figure out how ingesting a particular food will impact upon your blood glucose levels. Finally, there is a skill called Healthy Meals that gives you a div different, random healthy food recipe each time that you activate it. This can help you to balance your diet and eat healthier. By utilising your Alexa to help you to manage your diabetes, you will be more independent in managing your own health. And if you are ever concerned, you can ask your Alexa about diabetes by enabling the skill called My Diabetes, as previously mentioned. You can ask the skill at any time via your Alexa. I can now show you how to do this. Alexa, ask my diabetes, what is diabetes? There are many different kinds of diabetes, the most common being type 1 and type 2. Just say Alexa, what is type 1 diabetes or Alexa, what is type 2 diabetes? What is type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is a common condition that causes the level of sugar, or glucose, in the blood to become too high. We all need insulin to live. It allows the glucose in our blood to enter our cells and fuel our bodies. When you have type 2 diabetes, your body still breaks down carbohydrate from your food and drink and turns it into glucose, but insulin doesn't work as well as it used to. The pancreas responds to this by releasing insulin. But because this insulin can't work properly, blood glucose levels keep rising. So, more insulin is released. For some people with type 2 diabetes this can eventually tire the pancreas out, meaning that over time their body makes less and less insulin. This causes even higher blood sugar levels so that some people with type 2 diabetes are prescribed insulin injections if the oral medications such as metformin that are initially used to treat type 2 diabetes are not working well enough to control their blood sugar levels. Just to note that we are not affiliated with any of the skills that we are promoting. There are many skills available for your Alexa and we recommend that you always check the reviews on the Amazon website or the app before enabling it and to make sure that it is not malicious software. I hope that this introductory video gave you some insights into how you can use your Alexa to help you to manage your diabetes. Thank you for watching.